Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to my Let's Play of Skyrim Special Edition. We are on the way to Skyhaven Temple, and i got to preface this with the statement that I've already recorded this episode once. And I was suffering such severe frame rate issues in this area, and I have no idea why. And then later on, I was suffering similar frame rate issues in another area, and I have no idea why. And this entire episode is going to be a lot of lore dump so i thought about going ahead with it but it was just too too terrible so i don't even know if this is going to show up uh it, it i mean i know i've got frame rate issues usually but this was just off the wall and i don't know whether it's the area because all of a sudden it's even worse than normal or whether it's something that got up updated because i just had a, a, a bunch of machine updates uh for my operating system so i have no idea how this is going to come out frame rate wise i'm going to try and power through and I'm going to try and keep the frame rate reasonable but I'm even sit even sitting here I'm not getting anywhere near the frame rates uh and the game's playing fine it's the capture frame rates that, 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 I, that I'm suffering from I am not getting anywhere near what I was getting just last episode so it may be this area because there's a lot of mists and mountains and shit and I can't turn it down any more than that uh and then later on you'll see what I mean there's more mountains and stuff so it just may be the areas we just may may have to live with it uh but it's just going to be this one wherein i go towards skyhaven temple and then deal with the aftermath thereof now i'm intentionally walking slow there i'm just, just trying to to keep things viewable and of course i get ambushed from behind here where the hell is everybody going yeah where the hell are you all going Okay, that was unexpected. Anyway, um... Yeah, you must be getting jumpy. What the hell? There's like a Forsworn camp up here. And this is pretty much the only fight in the entire episode, so... Um... Spoiler alert, yeah. But we will be learning a lot of lore. Wee I have no idea... Where my people are going. And in order to avoid it being a slideshow, I'm going to run back here towards my people. And I'm basically going to let them handle it. And let them fight it. Let them fight it out. Oh, now my frame rate's back to a reasonable amount. Oh, well. Still shit, but it's less shit. Yeah, I think it's just the mists and the, and the windswept mountain peaks and such that's just killing it for some reason. I have no idea why. I've got nothing, no mods installed that, that affect any of the weather effects. I had some water effect mods installed, but I shut those down and it didn't do anything. In fact, it made it worse. So, we get to go ahead and kill Forsworn. I, I hate Forsworn. I really do. I mean, they are difficult to deal with. In a manner that just makes it makes it really hard to justify fighting them. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and finish him off. Thankfully, I'm a necromancer, so I don't need to do anything until I go inside. And here's the issue. All of this that I'm fighting... or Not, not right now, but... Everything I do in this particular episode is going to be pretty much mandatory towards advancing the game, or towards advancing the, uh, the storyline. See, I'm, I'm seeing somebody aggroed over there, but I, I'm not... S where are they? Oh, they're down there. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Yeah, so I can't skip any of it. That's what aggravates me most, is that I have to go through this area. You know, while I'm in a dungeon and things are just real close together, that's one thing. But coming out here, my, what? Did you see that? What the hell? Come on. How? Here. Fight my people. I like. I, I don't even care about these people. I just need. 
I just need this area clear. We got another caster over there. Come on, you gonna come close? There we go. Thank you, undead. And we got any more any more people over here? Nobody I can think of. Let's go ahead and see what, what these guys have for loot around here. Soul gem, money, and void salts. And yeah, I loot the void salts because they're a decent amount of money for the for the weight, basically. They're better than gems sometimes. Elven Armor of the Crucible. Orker Sword of Draining. Yeah, I'm gonna get all that. Gold earrings? I didn't even know I could have earrings. I think that's something... That is something I added by a mod. I know that. Um, Let's go ahead and see what else I missed. I think that's it, though. I think that'll be it. I'm gonna check up here just in case there's a treasure chest or something up here. Oh, look at this. Okay, they're in a mod-added armor. Come on. Yeah, any of my summons gonna come help me? Or am I gonna handle this myself? There we go. But that armor he's got is nice. I think light armor. Yeah, light armor that's added by a mod. I'm surprised I haven't seen much of it before. Here we go. There's the chest I was looking for. Nice. Gemstone and money. So yeah, now that we're done messing around up here, I think we're just, we're just going to continue on our way. I really don't need to... I, I, I hate to say it, but Forsworn Ruins are one of my least favorite places. I have lots of least favorite places. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Forsworn Ruins, I, I hear that Nurn Root. I'm aware it's there. I'm not going to go jump in and get it. So, yeah, I'm basically going to go inside and hope, beyond hope, that that fixes things. Yeah, I'm already seeing an improved frame rate now I'm not looking over at all those misty mountains and such. Yeah, I need a new system, but I've, 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 I, I understand that uh, Skyrim can be problematic. Unless you've got a really high-end system. Which is odd for, like, a six-year-old game. Boom! Yeah, I'm gonna let them handle it. That seems like a plan. I'll go ahead and pop my alteration. Am I maxed out on alteration? Give me a second. I am maxed out on alteration. I just need restoration up. I should be boosting restoration. And illusion. So you know what? I think from now on, rather than just popping that every five seconds, I'm going to go ahead and get less reward or something and try and boost my my restoration that way. I don't think that you... Yeah, they're, they're, these guys almost never have anything worth worth looting on them. So I'm, I'm probably going to skip looting a bunch of them. I'm going to concentrate on chests and uh, various other boxes. I say as I immediately go to loot another one. Ooh, ultimate magicka. Some po poisons. Um, nothing much. Oh, we got blacksmith's filter. Probably not going to really be useful. Another chest. Yeah, so far so good. Got a lot of. Uh, a lot of random Forsworn down. Just go ahead and continue on my way. Indeed, they must have something to do with it. Oh, there they are. All the way up there. King. For warrior. And of course for dragonborn. The one that has an arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. And that is the only clue you need for this entire thing. It's like, this isn't even a lock. This is like a door latch. 
It's like if you knew anything about them, if you knew anything about those symbols, that puzzle would do would be absolutely pointless to put into anything. So they build all of this mechanism up, and I'm assuming there's all kinds of machinery down there that leads up to here to drop that bridge. And it means nothing because it's the easiest thing in all. And likewise in here, see all these symbols on the floor? Do I need to worry about traps? No, I just need to worry about following stepping stones on the one symbol that I was told about and completely ignore all these other symbols that I know nothing about. And just kind of ease my way across the floor here. And then go this way because that's the same symbol. But the only thing that, the only risk here is, is if you miss the symbol and like just completely, you know, skip things. Or you can just leap over half the room in a single go. That works too. Come on. See, this area runs so much more, so much more smoothly. It's just that outside outside area that's really rough on me. Ooh, it's pretty down there. Anyway, here we go. The Skyhaven Temple. We've got a big chest for that one little puzzle and no fighting. Blessed Steel Warhammer. Money. Etc. Etc. Staff of the Healing Hand. Eh. Come here, Serana. I got some stuff to dump on you. Get over here, Serana. You know, I think it might be my. I think my my summons might be contributing to all this lag. This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much everything I can't be bothered with, Serana. But you're a good sport. I'll give you all of these ran this random stuff. I got gold earrings. Tell me that's a slot that I haven't even used yet. So, Esburn, what is this place about? Got a big, big face on the wall. I got to say one thing: the the architecture in this dungeon, such as it is, because it's open to the air, is certainly different. I have not seen anything like this before, so it's unique. It's unique look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My blood on the floor. Okay, and he'll continue to make commentary while I go ahead and cut my hand open. God, have you ever thought about just pricking a finger or something? I guess it's not so bad if you've got like healing spells. Oh wow, I am so glad that I that worked. I don't know what I would have done if that puzzle had not uh, been completely pointed out to me. I'll, I have the, the honor of being the first one inside. What if there's a trap? Like the entire... Like the entire fate of the world rests on my shoulders and they send me inside first. I'm going to see... Just send the chosen one in and... They lose their head to a trap. And then where would you be? Honor to go in first, my ass. Well, come on. Hey, old man, come on. Now, 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 I hit the problem of a, tra of a traffic jam because I've got all my summons, and I got to drag them all the way up. Now, Asburn is going to take his sweet time walking up here towards the wall, which I really wish I had. I had one of the mods that improves the visibility of this because this. This does not look good, and it could look so much better. I get has a how like a like a three D look to it. It's got a little bit of a three D look to it. Asburn's still walking up. Are oh, you still down there admiring the portraits? Yeah, you tell him, Delphine. Come on, old man. Okay. Boom. There's uh, some decent audio audio in here. Oh, come on, old man. My only regret is that this guy's this guy mumbles every line he has. 
Thank you, Delphine. Yeah. Not that I want to be rushing, and I really should be more interested in lore, but... Damn. I also want to know how he gets so much information from this. Get that from what's here. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the world. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord talks, masters of the voice, are arrayed I, I I don't even know what you're looking at there. Isn't that one? Ah, patient. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in an mythic symbol. If you say so, Esburn. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But is it? What shout is I don't see a symbol. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh yes. Presumably something rather specific to Alduin, or even Alduin himself. So I've got to find a shout. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin. Hmm. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? I have not heard of such a thing. Dragon out of the sky? Uh, nope. I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. <sighs> yes, I guess we I will. We'll avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. Not a problem. I'll ask Arngir if he knows what shout they right. used. A good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we can't call it. Indeed. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. All right. Look here. And here's the thing. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to the okay. in the first place. In search of the dragon core. Here yeah. are the Akaviri, the blades. You the blades. Distinctive yeah, those should be like katanas. Anyway, what I want to know is with these big holes in the ceiling, are those holes in the ceiling? Because this entire place should be flooded with water every so often. Uh, there's something I need to do before I head out, and that is I'm going to come over here to one of these back rooms, and uh, there's the Dragon Bane just sitting there out in the open for anybody yet. And if you've got the uh, immersive armors or whatever installed, then you can find blade armor in here, which is pretty much just heavy armor that looks like blade armor. Alright, and on that note, we're going to go ahead out to the Greybeards. We'll be on our way. Uh, but first... Oh, so he's talking about recent history. When the snow tower lies sundered, kinless, bleeding. Alright. The world eater wakes the wheel turns upon the last dragon ball. If you say so, old man. Nothing deep out of that, just... Okay. Let's uh, look out into Skyrim. And we can see these quote-unquote Akaviri ruins for the first time. From up top. Yep. Welcome to Slideshowville. Yeah, this would be very pretty if uh, I could sustain it, but you got these ruined pagodas out here. Uh, the look and feel of the uh, Blades Temple looks really nice. But uh, it's it's a pretty good it's a pretty good little base to use. But for now, we're going to go ahead and see uh, the Greybeards up at High Hrothgar. And I will see you when I get there. Alright, here I am in High Hrothgar, and we're heading for uh, Arn Arngear. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna knock that over. There you go. Retrieved the horn of Jorgen. Yes, I, yes, I have. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Alright, good. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally 
has Dragon Ball. So I gotta follow him. While he detours around all of my people. Which is a pain. Let's help him out. Let's uh Oh, there's a bedroom in here. I didn't even I didn't even realize that. I've been here a bunch of times. I I have never actually taken that turn. Hidden into the main hall. Oh, he beat me to the main hall. Okay. Da. Oh, here he is. And here is uh my my unrelenting force word. This shout is much more powerful. All right, so I have learned Unrelenting Force. So I've got to receive their greeting. We would speak to you. Okay. Stand between us, prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice. And even less can understand it. And I have no idea what this means. There are translators out there online. People have actually put together this entire language. It's it's ridiculous. Oops. Well, thank you very much, Arngrim. I have no idea what that means. Gonna do it again? Ow, double vision. Oh, no. You have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. Hi, Hrothgar. Why thank you, Arngear? I'm gonna bug you for something. Sky above, voice within. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Uh, does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand, or who you stand with. Really now? Who I stand with is my business. There we go. If you wish to stand alone, so be it. If you wish for our help, you will answer my question. You are such an ass, aren't you? Where did you learn of a shout used to defeat Alduin? It was on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. I didn't say the blades, I said Alduin's wall. Meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? You know, I don't like your tone, Arngear. Um, the blades just want to defeat Alduin, don't you? I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. <sighs> Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those you know who what? Overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not I don't stop. like your tone, Arngear. The world is meant to end. So be it. Let it end and be reborn. Uh, so you won't help? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Well, you suck, Arngear. Damn, Ein Einrath. What did he say? Well, Dragonborn, wait. Yeah, whatever. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my judgment. Thank you, Einarth. I'll try not to fusro daw your stuff all over the place. It's not mine to make. So, can you teach me this shell? No, I cannot teach it to you. I do not know it. Well, what good are you then? Dragon Rend, but its words <sighs> are unknown to us. We do 
do not regret this loss. Dragon Rand holds no place within the Didn't ask whether you regret it or not, I just rather asked you where you had it. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? The master of our order can answer that question. So I gotta go see Parthenax. Um I need to speak to Parthenax then. You aren't ready, you still aren't ready. But thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Indeed. Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. So I guess it's going to be an exception. Alright, how do I get to the top of the mountain to see you? those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay, not a problem. So now i got to follow him along. <sighs> well, beating him outside didn't really help speed things up any. I still gotta wait for him. As he walks slowly around. Oh, man. And then he encounters my army and has to walk around it. Okay, Arn here. Oh, the rest of them are going there. Okay. So we meet them up here, and I could be running, but why? Okay. So, show me. Right, go ahead and position yourself. Lock. Ah, let me get past. Here we go. Word of power learned. Sky, clear skies. And another one. Gonna add this one to my repertoire, please, please. Spring, clear skies. And then one more. Come on. Summer clear skies. Of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. All right. Thank you, Arngear. Thank you very much. Okay. As you can probably tell, the frame rate is beginning to dip again. I blame it on the weather effects that I'm about to have to plow through, and I have no idea how to fix it. Okay. Don't get distracted. I understand. So let's go ahead and hit magic. Um, shout. And get clear skies, which he was so grac gracious as to unlock for me. Run up here and... Boom! Shout so bad that you, or shout, shout so loud, you shout the weather away. Go ahead and continue onward. And more. Okay, doing pretty good. That was a short little little sweep. Come on. Ow, I got too close. And blasting more of it away. Oh look, there's a goat. Come on, goat. Don't run from me, I just want to give you something. God damn it. Alright. More. Okay, where did that goat go? Ah! There's an ice wraith, which I'm going to get absolutely no help from with this ice spike. Boom! Okay. More skies are cleared. Where did that goat go, by the way? Did it like fall off? Whoops! I fell in a fell in a little little uh, dip in the side there. Go on again. And of course, I'll just get whoa. Yeah, go ahead and kill this for me, please. 
Yep. Man, these things go down quick when my Draugr Lords get involved. Well, there is a goat. <laughs> Alright. Open to the next section. I'm doing okay overall. There's another goat. Does my clear skies kill the goats? That'd be neat if it did. I'll have to use it on a goat with absolutely nothing around for once, just to just to see if it does clear the area. Ah! Yeah, don't don't hit me, bro. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw some healing in, just to boost up my uh, my restoration. Okay, nice. And on to the next tier. There we go. I highly recommend waiting till you're right up against the wall uh, in order to clear it, because otherwise you may miss some. Ah! More wind! You know, as bad as my frame rate has been, it, it was worse earlier, so I think whatever I... I think one of the things that I did may have may have helped a little bit, but but man, this weather effects it's just killing me. Well, come along, and it may be the view too, because you can look out there and see like like massive amounts of sky. You know what? No, it does nothing to the goat. It does nothing to the goat. Now I gotta wait for a refresh. Well, no, the weather's killing the goats. Ow, 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 yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, I stand it by not complaining, Serana. I'm an undead too, you know. All the way up. Here we go, at the throat of the world. And what do we have here? We have a dragon. Oosh. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundanik. I am Parthenax. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I? Um, I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. Hmm. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. So, why live on the top of a mountain if you love conversation? There are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Okay, so he's basically a dragon monk. Discipline against the lesser aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. So, how can you help me? Why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to kill Alduin. Yeah, Dragon Ran shout. Can you help me? Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. So what do I gotta do? By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Alright. I'm assuming you're the Elder, because you're ancient. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. You gonna teach me... What are you gonna teach me? Okay, that's nice. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Now let's go ahead and learn it. A gift, and I get fire breath. Alright, old man. Or old dragon, my bad. I now know Yol. Which I guess I'll go ahead and equip. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Serana. Serana. 
you really don't want to stand there. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay, Parthenax. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. So you would not come all this way. You knew I was coming. Teamvak with an old Dova. No. Well, I don't know. If you were nice, Seek I would come talk to you. Against Alduin. Hmm. Alright. How did you know I came for Dragon Rim? Yeah, the Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Yes, they are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. Yeah, not surprised. I do not know the thune you seek, Croesus. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, so mortals. Created it as a weapon against the dome. So he can't learn it because he's a dragon. Okay. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? All in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? To kill Alduin. Uh, I like this world. I don't want it to end. As good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Well, if you say so, but... Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin, would you stop the next world from being born? Well, yeah, I'm a lich. The next world will have to take care of itself. As a fair answer. Okay. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. That's a good. That's a good idea. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. So, what you gonna do? Those who to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. Okay. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now I will answer your question. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I've got I've got one model static on the screen, barely moving, not looking at the sky, not looking at the surroundings, and my frame rate is still bombing, so I it is this area with all the all the breezes and such. Uh dragons like mountains? <laughs> None but me now remember how he was defeated. Uh, using Dragon Rand Shell. Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. You know, he's got a point. They should have done it right the first time. He just said it nicer than the uh, Greybeards did. Defeat him. The Nords of those days. Use the dragon rend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. Which one? I've got three. He used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. At least I think I have three. Okay, <laughs> what's an Elder Scroll? I've got three in my backpack. Okay. Mm. Not intentionally. Or do I have three? I've got blood. I've got dragon. Lost. I knew better. Time flows 
is ever onward. One day he would surf. That, that's a that's so you basically just sat here and waiting for him. Which is why I have lived here. I know you didn't actually kill him when he resurfaced. <sighs> okay, how does any of this help me? Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. Okay, so I I can Yeah, I can I can bring it here. Scroll back here to the Teed Ahran, the time wound. I'm lucky that it didn't activate already. Elder scroll that was I mean, those things are big. Time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. Okay. You could learn Dragonrend. Back to the past to save the future. Who created it. Go, go, time plot. All right. I have the Elder you Scroll. Have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll, Tidkrech Kalos, time shudders at its touch. We're going to do this? There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kolgan Akatosh, the very bones of the Quest complete in one after the other, because I've already got them in my backpack. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. All right, let's do this. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Okay. Flying up and about, and then towards the time wound. But you know what? Oh wait, did I already trigger it? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pause it here and cut the episode here because this may take at least. Five ten minutes, uh, and that'll put me way past the time. So, uh, as always, if you like what you've seen, uh, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content, both tabletop and computer. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit more fluid in the next episode. Until next time, take care and goodbye.